we can access the GraphQL playground, which allows us to send GraphQL queries and mutations and subscriptions. If you have Thorium running, make sure you have that running first. You can go in your web browser to localhost colon 3001 slash GraphQL. That'll pull up this GraphQL playground. A couple of cool features of the GraphQL playground. Over here we can see the entire schema for Thorium. It's uh, pretty long. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can go query to say that this is a query, you give it a name, and we will ask for any simulators. Now make sure that you're familiar with GraphQL before watching this video. Uh, links in the description for where you can learn more about GraphQL. I'm just going to choose the simulator query and then I will get the ID and name and template of any simulator. So um, yeah, I can run this and we'll see that there's a single simulator. Its name is Voyager and it is a template simulator, which means uh, it's not currently in a flight. Suppose we wanted to start a flight, we could actually do that using a mutation. If we take a look at this mutation, we see that it takes a name, simulators, and a flight type. Flight type is uh, optional, so we will not include that. But let's create this mutation, and we will put in the name. Well, we'll put in the actual mutation, start flight. The name will be my flight, and we will add a couple of simulators, and we just have to take a look at this and see that it wants a simulator ID, a station set ID, and a mission ID. So let's grab the station sets from the simulator here so we can get the ID of one of them. And we'll put that in here. We can just take a look over here to see what the ID is. And we will run this simulator's query again. We'll grab this station set ID here. And this should be all that we need in order to start a flight. Now before we start a flight, I want to demonstrate subscriptions. Queries get you the current data. Mutations update or change the data. Subscriptions give you regular updates whenever there's a change in the data. So let's come to a new tab and create a subscription for our flights. Anytime there's a new flight, we will get information about it. I'm pretty sure that's all that I need. Just put an ID, a name, and that should be good. So we can hit go here, and it's listening. If we come over here and do a query for flights, we'll see that uh, I've got to put a name here. We'll see that there's not any flights, but if I click this Start Flight button, then it gives me the flight here, and we can see that the update appeared over here. Um, so this is how GraphQL queries, mutations, and subscriptions all work together in Thorium. Queries give you the current data, mutations update the data, and trigger subscription publishes, and then any subscriptions that are subscribed to data will get the data from that subscription publish whenever it happens. One more thing to keep in mind with the GraphQL playground is you can use query variables with your queries. So for example, if I wanted to get only a flight of a specific ID, I could put in the ID variable here, and I have to specify its type. I can look in my schema to see what type this is supposed to be for the flights query. And then down here I can put that ID and use that variable as the value. We can put our query variable down here. We'll just give the name of the query variable in JSON, so it has to have quotes, and that's going to be ID. And then the value itself, which we'll just pull from this flight here. And I'll run that. Now, just to make sure that this is actually working, I'm going to start a new flight with this start flight mutation. And we can see over here that it gives me that update to the subscription because it's still listening. And over here, if I run that flights, it'll still give me just the one value even though there are two flights. So that's how you can use GraphQL Playground to play around with the data in Thorium.